Hi, I'm Ross Jacobs. Here I am, northwest New South Wales, on a beautiful autumn day. I want to talk about horses that get pushy on people. Just about every clinic, there is at least one horse that comes in for their session, and I see them on the halter, on the lead rope, and they're pushing on the, their owners, they're crowding them, the owners are forced to give up some space, they're getting nudged with their head. Um, the owners tell them to back off, and within a second or two, the horses are coming back and crowding their space again. And I want to talk about not so much what you do about it, but I want to talk about why this happens. We all know horses like to live in a herd. They get their sense of safety and comfort from being in a herd. But for this to work, there has to be some sort of structure to the herd. There has to be a hierarchy. It just can't be chaos. Otherwise, there'd be no sense of safety or comfort. So in the horse herd, they, they do this structure by developing a, a hierarchy or pecking order and to establish which horse is above and one horse and which horse is below that horse. There is no democracy in a, her in a horse herd. Every horse has a place, but it's different from every other horse. So the question is, how do they then establish their place in the herd? And this goes to the question of why horses are pushy. When two horses meet for the first time, they say their hellos and then they do some posturing and then eventually one horse is driven off. The one that is doing the driving is the one that's in charge and the one that has been driven away is the one that's below them. This is how horses establish their pecking order. This is how they work out how to have order in the herd. And they need this. Horses need to know their place. They, they rely on it for their sense of safety and security. So now we introduce a human into the horse's life for the first time. Even a really kind, gentle, angelic and sweet human who cares about horses. A horse still has to understand the relationship he has with that human. So he asks the same questions he'd ask of any horse. Are you in charge of me? Or am I in charge of you? When a horse doesn't get a very clear answer, it's a serious stress in his life and he'll keep asking the same question over and over in the hope he'll get a clear answer. Sometimes this will last a few minutes and other times it can go on forever and ever and ever seemingly without an answer. The stress of not getting a clear answer can lead to some pretty unruly behaviour and now the horse is being labelled disrespectful, spoiled, bad, evil. When in truth, the horse is just needing a simple answer to a simple question. Am I in charge of you or are you in charge of me? In other words, do I get to move your feet or do you get to move my feet? So let's look at an example of how a pushy horse can be created. This is from a video I found on the internet. And to be fair to the lady, I should point out that she is deliberately showing how she has created her pushy horse. You'll notice at the outset how the horse leans on the rope because he's more interested in eating and he basically ignores her. She's sort of just there and has no consequences to him. Then he goes to walk around her and he crowds her and pushes on her. She doesn't block his thought to not do it. She allows it to happen. Now she goes to drive the horse in a circle around her and she backs up and draws him towards her and even when he stops, she backs out of his way. Here is an even clearer example where the lady asks the horse to go around her. He doesn't get off her, so she keeps backing out of his way. And eventually she has to stop in frustration and notice how close the horse is and he's right in her space, but she doesn't seem to be able to get him away. So the horse ends up very confused because when he asks the question, sometimes the answer is, no, the human moves your feet. And other times he asks the question, the answer comes back, the horse moves the human's feet. This leads to a lot of stress in a horse's life. So there you have it. The reason a horse keeps pushing on us, stepping on us, crowding us, is because we keep giving him mixed messages. 
He asks us, are you in charge of me or am I in charge of you? Sometimes he can move our feet, other times we move his feet. And so the signals are so confused to him and he's so desperate for an answer that he both gets stressed and confused. So we need to be clear about this because without that level of clarity, we keep him bothered by us and that damages our relationship. So the next time your horse pushes on you, think and ask yourself, what is he trying to do? How do I give him a clear answer? I hope that helps and I'll see you next time.